Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Tuesday, August 16, 2016, about 8.16 in the evening, Bellica, Massachusetts. We got some rain showers and thunder showers about two hours ago. Dropped a quick half inch of rain, but that doesn't help with the deficit. And it's going to be hot, hot and humid for the rest of the week again, but not 90s, 80s chance of thunder showers each and every day. Some news to report. St. Louis Cardinals outfielder Matt Holiday had surgery on his right thumb because it was broken. And he's going to be out for the remainder of the season. That's a big blow for the St. Louis Cardinals as they make a push for the playoffs. Also, Pro Football Hall of Fame named two of its finalists for 2017 in the contributions category. Former NFL Commissioner Paul Tagliabue and Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones are the two finalists for Pro Football Hall of Fame in the contributions category. So congratulations to them. We launched of uh, the classic TV sitcom Frasier is going to be airing on Cozy TV beginning um, September 12th and also WBZ TV4 News which which has a 10 p.m. newscast on my TV 38 is moving its 10 p.m. newscast to 8 p.m. Um, beginning August 29th, so it's be going from 8 to 9 p.m. on WSBK, and from 9 to 11, um, WSBK will be showing my network t television programming. So it looks like WSBK will not be getting the CW affiliation in Boston. And WHDH Channel 7 in Boston announced it's dropping its appeal to try to get the NBC affiliation in Boston past the end of 2016, but they said it was no, no go. They just didn't want to fight. And beginning January 1st, 2017, WHDH Channel 7 in Boston is going to be an independent station relying heavily on news. 87 hours of news programming a week on WHDH Channel 7. That's amazing. And they're going to be hiring 30 more employees, part and full time. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. weeknights and prime time, they're going to be showing the Family Feud with Steve Harvey. And the NBC affiliate in Boston is probably going to be on WNEU Channel 60. CW56 will still be the FCW channel in Boston. And sad news to report in the world of TV news. Longtime host of the McLaughlin Group on PBS and syndication and CNBC, John McLaughlin passed away at the age of 89. John was battling some health problems recently, but he kept doing the show until he was, you know, two ilk to continue. He was once a Catholic priest, so prayers to his family in this time of need. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile was one of the most clutch kickers in NFL history. Adam Vinatieri. Adam Vinatieri has been um, kicking for in the NFL for over 20 years. The first 10 years with the New England Patriots and the past 10 years with the Indianapolis Colts. And he's going on his 21st season this year. Adam was born and he grew up in Uton, South Dakota. And in high school, he was a star athlete. He played football. He was a wrestler. He did some basketball. He played soccer, and he also played two ran track. And then, and he was a quarterback and a middle blind backer and a place kicker and a punter. And he won all state honors in, during his football career. And Adam was such a good um, kicker that he was recruited by Army, and he was going to kick for them. And he actually went to the um, 
West Point campus, but he got homesick and went back to South Dakota. And he t decided to transfer, and then he went to South Dakota State University for four years as a kicker and a punter. And he's the all-time leading scorer in South Dakota State history with 185 points. Adam was not drafted by any NFL team, so and for him to make the pros, he had to play in the World League of American Football, which eventually became NFL Europe. He played one season with Amsterdam. He had such a great year. The New England Patriots signed Adam in 1996, and he's been in the NFL ever since the first 10 years with the New England Patriots, and the last 10 years with the Indianapolis Colts. 19 seasons, he had 20 or more field goals, made 19 seasons of 20 more extra points made 18 seasons of 100 points scored he's made the pro bowl three times three times he was the first team all pro and four times he's won the super bowl adam i like kicked the winning field goal and three of the four super bowl wins for the new england patriots and he's like the best one of the best clutch kickers of all time. He wore number four for the New England Patriots, and he still wears number four for the Indianapolis Colts. I thought, like, Adam would be a New England Patriot for life, but, like, when he got, they didn't sign him to a long-term contract in 2006, and the India, Indianapolis Colts scooped him up. And he's such an effective field goal kicker, and he, even though he's in the, his mid-40s, he still gets the job done, and he's and probably going to be kicking for a few more years before he eventually retires. And when he get, retires, I believe he'll be the first ballot Hall of Famer because he's kicked some of the most important field goals in NFL history. But the uh, football, proper football Hall of Fame don't have too many kickers in, and they tend not to vote them in for the first ballot, but they have to make an exception for Adam Vinatieri. And here's Adam Vinatieri's career stats. 307 games played, 503 field goals made out of 598 attempts. That's a 84.1% percentage successful rate, 742 extra points made out of 755 attempts, 98.3 succession rate, and he scored 2,253 points total. When Adam Vinatieri retires, he's probably going to go into the um, Patriots Hall of Fame as well. And that's about it on Adam Vinatieri. And that's about it on these video blogs. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Tomorrow, three more video blogs coming your way. First video blog will be about the top 100 greatest pitchers in Major League history from numbers 50 through 41. Second video blog will be about the former um, cable network FSN. No, F No, F. N N score and the third and final video blog of the night the personality profile tomorrow's personality profile we got former NBA player and the current head coach of the uh, Golden State Warriors Steve Kerr keep calm everybody I'm a Julie Button guy Molly Roseblood the WCCO works has nice legs Elizabeth Hart so so stunning she's the best Amy Sweezy's awesome awesome Amy in the church of WPX channel 11 New York you're such a cool guy and she's got nice legs the best legs in New York City and Papa Gibbs of APCC 11 has a sweet southern accent and in the words of former professional wrestler Baron Von Asky and that's all you need to know by now. See you tomorrow.